so good to see you. I, I'm just going to do a, we're going to do a get ready with me today. Just simple, sit down. Uh, I got a couple new palettes to try, so let's check them out. By the way, I did start my faith-based channel already. It's called Zabrina Loves, so I will have it linked for you below. I'm going to try to have a video posted on that channel today too. So I'm going to apply an eyeshadow primer before I start here. I'm using this one from Alter Ego. I'll put on some lip balm too. I'm using the AOA Studio Coconut Lip Mac. Oops, it's so white, but you know, it works great. Alter Ego Cosmetics sent me two palettes to try very recently. I don't know when these were released, but I'm going to show you what they look like up close here. The first one is called Wildwood. That's the front. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. And the colors inside are really nice too. So that's just an overview. And then the next one is called Dream Gaze. Now this one has such a go look at this. The inside of a flower isn't that a beautiful and then the inside is all these pastel spring colors absolutely beautiful <sighs> now I don't know which one to wear actually we could combine both of them together because this one has some neutrals in it and this one has some pastels in it so let's do that I got myself into it now it's gonna be so hard to choose <laughs> as per usual I'm going to apply my base color first I'm using the wet n wild brulee eyeshadow. Man, talk about so many beautiful colors. Okay, I'm going to take this first shade here called Clover. I'm loving that one right now. Woo! Look at that. Wow. Okay, it's just as good as I thought it was going to be. Ay, yeah, yeah, I'm loving this. Okay, then for the next shade that I want to use, I'm taking the one called Stream from the Wildwood palette, which is a deeper teal. I'm going to add that to the outer third. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness gracious, I love this. Okay, and then for the crease, it's been so long since I've done color. And I know several of you have been saying that to me too, like, why don't you wear color anymore? You know what it is, is I got into this neutral phase where I just wore neutral because it was easy, it was fast, and it went with everything. And I just, you know, I really haven't had much time to really sit down and be creative. So this is nice, this is a nice change. I am going to take a little bit of this shade called Lantern from the Dream Gaze palette. I want just a very small amount of this. I'm going to use it as a transition color in the crease but I'm going to apply a little bit of a deeper brown in the depths of the crease. This is simply going to help that brown blend to the brow. And we'll go in with our brown. I'm using the one called Trail from the Wildwood palette. This takes me back to old days, old days when all we did was eyeshadow. I know, remember those days? Yeah, those are fun times back when I was learning how to do eyes. I learned on camera, like I made a lot of mistakes on camera, but I loved every single minute of it. I learned with you, you know, like as I was learning things, I was sharing them. As I was making mistakes, I was sharing them. <laughs> we all learned this together. And it's so funny to me how many of you are still here from those days and you remember some of the mistakes and maybe you made some mistakes yourself and, and we just, we kind of did it all together. I don't know, it, you have to make mistakes though. If you're not making mistakes, then you're not learning and you're not growing. So I welcome them. I once made myself feel so badly for making mistakes. I had that whole perfectionism thing going on and it was so exhausting really was and it, it just gets to a point where you're like oh I don't want to do this anymore and you learn to accept yourself the way that God made you and understand that you're not going to get it right every single time you're going to laugh at me and maybe some of you may be able to identify with this but I used to be the type where I could not go to bed unless every single dish in the house was clean and the house was spotless and I mean that's how I was but it drove me nuts and it came to a point where I was like you know what no. <laughs> I allowed myself to leave dirty dishes in the sink. I allowed myself to leave clothes in the dryer. I allowed myself to leave toys out every now and then. You know, not all the time, but I allowed myself to be imperfect. And pff, 
Let me tell you, that was the most freeing thing I ever did. Perfectionism is slavery. It is. It's another form of bondage. I'm not saying that you shouldn't take pride in the things that you're doing, but don't do them to a point of exhaustion, overwhelming, to the point of not being at your best. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love it. I think I'm going to take a little bit, like a tiny, 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 tiny. You can't even see it on the brush, it's so tiny. A little bit more of that stream color, that teal in the outer corner, and I'm going to use that to blend it up a little bit into the outer crease, just so there's not a harsh line. I feel like I had like a little bit of a harsh line there. Sometimes you don't even really need to add anything on the brush. You can take the brush too with nothing on it and just go over it like this to blend what's there into the rest of the makeup. And that works too. And because we started with that first shade on the inner half, I'm going to go back and freshen it up a little bit because sometimes when you do your crease colors over your lid colors, it tends to muddy the lid color. Have you noticed that too? I love this. Oh, that is beautiful. Let's see what time is it? Okay, I have to take Gia to gymnastics at three, so I have plenty of time. Woohoo! I'm gonna fill in the brows real quickly here. I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pen in the shade Caramel. This is my go-to. I mean, I feel like I really just want, <laughs> I feel like I wanna throw out all my other brow products because this is the one that I use consistently. I was about to apply the lashes, but before I did that, I wanted to let you know I applied a little bit more of that Stream eyeshadow that I used on the outer third to line the upper lash line. And I really love how that just makes the eyes pop. And the lashes that I am combining up with this look today are the ones from my lash line in the style Authentic. I love these because they have a clear band and they're very natural looking. Aren't those gorgeous? And the reason that I chose them too is because they're not overpowering the makeup look. Because the makeup look is so strong and bold today, I wanted lashes that would emphasize it without disguising it. And so that's why I love these lashes too. Now for the rest of the face, I'm gonna keep it pretty toned down. I'm going to use the Neutrogena Skin Serum Foundation. I love this stuff. I gotta get another one because this is just running out on me, but it's good because it emphasizes, it just doesn't emphasize, it doesn't cover, put it that way. It, what's the word I'm looking for? Accentuates? I don't know, that's not the right word either. But it basically doesn't feel like a mask, doesn't look like a mask, it still looks like your skin. So whatever that word <laughs> is that word. This is one that I feel like would be really good for mature skin too. It doesn't give you this mattified, flat appearance. It's a rather luminous glow. And I'm gonna set this a little bit with some powder, but it's not going to be like flat looking. And for my under eye area, I'm using the NYX Pro Fix Sticks Color Correcting Concealer. This is another one that I have really been enjoying lately. And they have so many shades in this. It's, it's not just this one. There's a green, there's a yellow, I think. There's purple if you struggle with yellowing skin. It's awesome. What I am finding though is if you use too much of it, it starts to crease. If you're careful to use a small amount and blend it in really well, especially with your finger, the warmth of your finger will help melt it into your skin a little better. It does last a good amount of time, pretty much all day long with no issues. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is another good one because it doesn't give you that flat effect. It sets everything, but still gives your skin a skin-like finish. You can see what I mean. It's not overly dewy, but it's not flat. It still has a bit of radiance to it. I'm also taking some of this Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. And I'll use that as definition along the cheekbone. And that's the completed look. And I don't feel like putting lipstick on right now. I may add it a little later. So if you see it in another video, like on the Faith Based channel, I'll probably have lipstick on by then. And I more than likely will wear the Believe Beauty Lip Liner with the Maybelline Born With It lipstick because that's my favorite combo right now. It's the perfect pink color for my skin tone. So I've really been loving that, but it's in the house and I have to <laughs> go back in there to get it. But anyway, yeah. I hope that you enjoyed this uh, sit down, chatty, get ready with me style, you know, very relaxed video. 
And um, I do have some shorts that I've been working on, so there will be some more shorts coming out next week. I've been trying to get uh, a bunch of those together to push out, but this week was really challenging for us because my husband's dad, my father-in-law, ended up uh, getting into the ICU with uh, sepsis and um, I think it's pneumonia and a lung lung failure. That's what it was. So he had to fly up there like the same day. Uh, it's pretty serious. So um, please keep him in prayer right now. And we know that he's reaching the end of his life. So we know that time is short. So I'm just praying that my husband will have as much time with him that he needs to um, close all the tie, tie all the clothes. How am I trying to say this? Tie up loose ends, put it that way. Because I know that when my dad was getting near the end, I thought of everything I wanted to say. Every single thing. And I said every single thing to him. And that's what I told my husband. As I said, think of every single thing that you feel like you need to tell your dad right now. And make sure he knows it. Make sure he knows that you love him. Make sure that he knows that you forgive him. Make sure that he knows that he's loved, you know, the whole nine yards. And so, yeah, that was, that's what he's doing right now. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, but anyway, thank you for being here, for taking the time to watch. And I speak love, peace, and joy into you and into your home. I look forward to seeing you again very soon.